بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد I first send all praises and thanks to Allah, the Lord of the world and everything that lives. And I ask Allah, the Most High, to send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and whoever follows Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of judgment. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now, in this sitting, we're going to move on to another book. This book is called The Gateway of Understanding the Three Fundamental Principles and Its Proof, or Their Proofs. Now, let's speak about the author of this book. His name is Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. Now, this scholar is the son of Sheikh Abdul Wahhab at Tamimi, Suleiman at Tamimi. He was a scholar and he was known for his zealous lifestyle. He worked hard in seeking knowledge. He was born in the Arab Peninsula and he traveled many times to seek knowledge from different places. He even went to Mecca and Benita for knowledge. He was born in Uyayyinan, that's in the Arab Peninsula, and he seeks knowledge on his father's hand, who is Abdul Wahhab, Sheikh Abdul Wahhab. His father was a known judge too. Now, after seeking knowledge, Sheikh Muhammad saw and looked at the situation of the people and felt distressed about the so-called Muslims. Now these so-called Muslims were committing major sins. For example, worshipping rocks, being faithful to non be fatal to what should we say, to idols and so forth, worshipping graves, worshipping famous people and so forth. So, after seeking knowledge, and alhamdulillah, Allah granted him this knowledge, he felt distress about the present situation of the Muslims. So he went about spreading the correct knowledge of Tawheed, the oneness of Allah Azawajal. Now, he worked so hard and sincerely in the cause of spreading Tawheed, that Allah allowed him to write a book which is accepted by the Muslim community up until today. After working hard with the Prince Muhammad bin Saud to establishing Tawheed, he went on further and further to spreading the religion. May Allah have mercy upon him. After numerous years of struggling to spread the understanding of the Tawheed, keeping away from idol worshipping, keeping away from grave worshipping, he died. He died in the year 1206. May Allah have mercy, mercy upon him. Within or after 50 years of working tirelessly to expressing the correct understanding of a Tawheed and Islam, he left us and he died. May Allah have mercy upon him. And he left us with an amazing book, which is called Usul al Thalatha, the Three Fundamental Principles. Why should we study this treatise? Why should we study this book? We should study this book because it covers three basic principles or three basic questions that we will be asked in the grave. And these questions are, one, who is your Lord? Two, who is that prophet, Muhammad? And three, what is your religion? We also study 
this book because it gives proofs for the sayings in it. We also should study this book because the Sheikh, may Allah have mercy upon him, gives us advice. And also it's concise and clear with what is being presented. And through also the reading of this book, one can see that the author really cares about the reader and he makes supplication for him. May Allah have mercy upon you and so forth. So these are a few reasons why we should engage in reading this book, the three fundamental principles. And the last but not least reason is that Allah has allowed the Muslim community to accept this book. Up until now, many scholars are reading, studying this tremendous book. Why? Because Allah has allowed him to, you know, benefit others. Now let's move on a step on. The content of this treatise. The author begins the book by saying, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah. Why? This is in keeping with the guidance of the Quran. Now, if you look throughout the Quran, you will find that every surah except Surah Al Tawbah starts with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most beneficious. And also, starting with, in the name of Allah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, it's the way of following the Prophet and the pious predecessors. And thirdly, it also shows that the author is seeking Allah's blessing. Now, there are four fundamental principles that one should learn. So it's obligatory upon us. And you can find this through Suratul Asr. Now, the four things are knowledge, action, da'wah, and being patient. These four things go in hand, especially when you want to be successful in this life. The first one, as I've said, knowledge, it's knowing your Lord. It's knowing your Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be your Prophet Muhammad. It's knowing the religion, Islam with the proofs and all the understandings. Action, having the correct action that goes with the information that you have learned. Keeping away from innovated things, bid'ah. And there's a hadith of the Prophet that says, a scholar who, a scholar who, upon, a scholar has to, a scholar that doesn't act upon his knowledge will be punished before idol, idolaters or idol worshippers. Yes. The other thing is da'wah. The conditions are da'wah are about five. Being sincere, making this da'wah for the sake of Allah and only for Allah. Second, having correct Islamic knowledge. Third, having or knowing actions, knowing the conditions of preaching to people. The fourth, wisdom, having wisdom, knowing how to call people. And the fifth, being patient when calling people to this overwhelming religion of Islam. And the fourth, patience. Now, patience have Patient has three matters. The first of which is being patient when doing acts of worship that Allah wants us to do. The second, staying away from sinning. Whether backbiting, whether drinking alcohol, whether killing, whether, whether being evil to your neighbors, whether being envious of others. And the third, being patient with the decreed what Allah has decreed for us. Now, patient is very important while seeking knowledge. Very important. And also, 
When one is seeking knowledge, he should be patient in the propagation of the Islamic ruling and also be firm-hearted to know that your Lord is going to bless you after the effects of spreading his religion. And we're going to stop here for today. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.